Hello friends, this is Mainag from Civil Center and today I am back with another video on Revit Structures. So in this series, we are going to import an architectural model made in Revit and then do the entire structural works here. So first of all, today we are going to learn how to import an architectural model of Revit so that we can work on the structural part of it. So Revit Structures is a software in which we can do the structural detailing and all the beam works like project planning also. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is how the Revit interface looks like and then we want to create a new model. So we'll go to this option of new or open. So now we want to create a new file and we have the option of choosing the template since we are working on the structural part so we'll choose the metric structural template so metric structural template deals in newton mm meters or all the metric units so if you are importing in any file into the metric template you have to make sure that your architectural file is also in metric template that is in meters or in mm so now you can click on ok and after that your revit interface will open as a structural template so the next step is that you have to know what is the location of your architectural file So as you can see by default the Revit interface opens in level 2. So if we want to import our model in this level we can do that or else we can work on the levels also. So in this case I am going to import this on this particular level here. So here we are going to go to the option of your insert and after going to the option of insert we have this option of Revit link. So we'll just use this option and we will open the location of the file which we want to open. So you can open the location of the file of which you want to work on the structural part. We'll just click on this particular file and then you can also select this positioning. By default it's origin to origin so we'll keep that. We'll just select this and open the file. So if your model has been made in a lower grade it will update to the latest one and but it doesn't work the other way if model is made in higher uh, one it cannot be done in the lower one unless you save it okay so now we have the file here as you can see uh, this is the file and the architectural plan has been imported you can select this and you can pin this so if you pin this what will happen that uh, if in future it, you can move the model so the model will be in the one place so that will help you a lot uh, so if you want to uh, select the model and click on edit type and if you want to create any uh, new rooms we can just click on the option of room bounding we don't want that and another option which you can uh, use is you can just go and select the properties from here as you can see you can change the particular visibility options also as you can note the particular discipline is your structural so if you just change this discipline it can show or not show the model as you can see this is the actual model and if you just change this back to your structural it will be coming back to the default view Another thing which you can do is you can go to this manage option and here you will have some additional settings and in additional settings you can do this which can be utilized later. You can just select the weight of the tone and then increase it. So later it will come into use and so this is the successful import of the architectural plan in the Revit structure software 
in the upcoming videos we will work on the uh, structural part and we will also work on the entire project management part as well so stay tuned to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet make sure you hit the subscribe button bye bye keep learning civil center is here to guide